Hey guys, Meliza here. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do at Simply Paper. Um, the last couple days, I've just been posting like random things um, I've been working on. Um, when I when I craft, I kind of like um, jump from one project to another, um, just because I have like several ideas and I kind of just want to play them out as I think of them. So today, I want to um, show you that armchair die from um, my Crafting World design. And on her packaging, it does say Nicole Silhouette did design all her dies that she does have in her shop. So that's really cool. So with this die set, you do get two of the regular base pieces of the chair. You get a layering stitch piece and then this cool stitching piece where it cuts out um, individual, individual pieces for your chair. So you can add some fabric and, you know, different prints to your chair and whatnot. So that's the chair portion. Then you have these fun um, accessories to go with your chair. This is such a cute um, size Polaroid. Um, that would, um, you could, you know, use for all your mini albums. So it comes with the Sentiment Relax. You get the popcorn, which I really love. These buttons, which I love. Um, Scrap Diva has um, buttons as well in her shop, which I like to use as embellishments. You do get um, two different drink cups, get a flute, um, and then these tassels to go on your chair, the popcorn bucket, and these photo corners. So uh, with these photo corners, you could um, make your Polaroid removable and whatnot to your mini album, or it could just hold your picture in place. So those are the dies that it comes with. So um, I was really excited about this set. I had my eyes on that bingo set and then she came out with this and I had to make a purchase. When I try new shops, I do tend to, I just don't wanna buy one thing. I wanted to buy like an array of items from that shop to test them out. It's like I always have to go big or go home so I could give you guys uh, my honest opinions on certain things, but. Um, let me show you, I was really excited for this chair, um, mini album because I have this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. It's a really cute stamp set. Let me see if I can, mm, let's see, I'm going to work at it. Uh, so this uh, stamp set's called Screen Time. So you get this little boy and girl, and then you have these little cute little sentiments. You have the options of having them hold a controller, a bowl of popcorn, chips, cell phone, pizza. So I did use my little brother scan and cut and cut these little pieces out that I stamped out. I'm not good at coloring, so um, I didn't really like how this one turned out. If I knew how to color better, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna practice. I have several of these people cut out and I'm just gonna practice on coloring because it's been a while since I colored with markers. But I like the life is better one we've been to watch together. Cute. Um, and with these chairs, where did that embossing? I did use an embossing folder for these chairs you could see the detail to that. So this is the first one that I made. And then I seen um, Davina from the Little Pink Crafter here on YouTube and Instagram. She made a cute little pink chair. And I found, um, these are papers from the Chaos Craft Store. So I only had one sheet of six by six paper of this. So I thought I would just make a little chair out of those single sheet papers. Um, this flower is from um, her shop also, the My Crafting World Designs flower die set. I added um, those buttons to be flower centers. I just love this little popcorn bucket and the popcorn. I added a tassel and these little bows are from her bingo card set. And I cut out some bows, add that to the tassels. Did use the embossing folder. This kind of reminds me of like you grew up in the 80s and 90s, the people 
that have that fancy armchair and some people have plastic over, you know, their chair. I had one friend that had um, plastic all over her chair and it was just uncomfortable waiting for her to get ready for church. And I had to sit there and get stuck to her furniture. <laughs> and then um, Anna reached out to me to see how, how I liked the dyes and I told her I was really excited about this one. And I told her my ideas of probably making a chair for every season. And after I messaged her that, I was like, oh, I have to do a Halloween theme one. So um, this is the first one I did. I used that photo, the Polaroid thing from my dog's picture. He was, um... so with the first one, I did a little layout scene and uh, these little ghosts are so cute. I got them from AliExpress because um, I am kind of just like boosting up my Halloween stash. Um, but if I find the link to them, I'll link them down below. So cute, right? So this is the first one I did. Got my little doggy. But he's so cute. His name is Raider. We call him Darth Raider. So he was Darth Vader one year. So cute. And then this one, I just made a little scene where you could add a photo or a journaling card. So I made one ghost into the popcorn bucket. And then this one, um, he's laughing so hard that his um, hat tilted off his head. And then this one's dumping popcorn. And I just loved how these chairs turned out. And um, another idea, because I know it's probably like a different type of um, mini album but I was super excited to see this um, in her shop because I thought it was just different you know and um, I think this would be a cute one if your friend is having a baby you could um, set up one for you know 12 months because you know how like people do the prog progression photo so it would be cute if they had a progression photo of the baby sitting in the same armchair every month and then posting uh, a photo on the armchair for each month so make a 12 page one for a friend I'm not gonna have any more babies but I think that would be cute um, but that's it you guys I kind of just wanted to do a quick project share and show you um, different ways um, this was gonna be like a card but I don't like the the paper use with it and my coloring is not that great but um, I think with different type of uh, chair, you know, pattern, I think it would look cute. But I really loved how this one came out. Looks like a grandma little armchair and I love these little ghosts, so cute. But um, I'll, I'll search around and um, find the links to this. If you guys don't find the link um, when you're watching it down below, probably check back and I'll have it on there. But um, please uh, visit Anna's shop, support um, small shops, and um, yeah, let's try to sell this bad boy out and try it out. I think it's cute. Look at all these little elements. You, it comes with um, this chair. But um, that is it. I'll catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye.